you're doing well. If you haven't done story time with me before, my name is Miss Lisa and I get to do all of the story times at Worthington Park. But while we're closed down for a little bit, I'm doing story times from right here in my house. So it's pretty messy, but that's part of life. All right, well, I wanted to take some time out of a project I've been working on to talk to you today about big feelings. Now I'm wondering if you might be having some big feelings right now. Do you have any big feelings you wanna tell me about? How are you feeling? Yeah? Well, I've been having a lot of big feelings lately too. So I thought we could talk about those and that might be helpful. Now the first thing I wanted to talk about is something that might make you feel a little bit scared. Now, I don't know if you noticed last time we recorded inside my house, but there's a whole bunch of stuff back there, isn't there? Yeah, that's my sewing equipment. I've been making something that might make you feel a little bit scared or just have some other feelings. What's this? Do you know what this is? If I tied it, you might recognize that. What is that? It's a mask. Have you seen people wearing masks around? Maybe your grown-ups are wearing masks. Yeah, well masks are here because what we wanna do is that if we need to cough and we're out, we can cough in the mask. Look at this. <coughs> and so when I wear a mask, if I cough, that helps keep other people safe. So I know it might look a little bit scary to see somebody wearing a mask, but when you see one, I want you to remember that that person is trying to keep you safe and that the mask means that they love you, okay? Now you might have heard a lot about getting sick lately. There's been a lot about that, hasn't there? Yeah, we've been talking a lot about how to stay healthy um, how to not get sick and masks are one of the ways we can do that Another way that we help stay healthy is that we wash our hands a lot and when you wash your hands You need to wash them for a long time But all of this stuff might make you feel a little bit scared Or let's see it might make you feel worried. Do you know what worried means? Worried is when you're thinking about something that might happen and that makes you feel scared. So you might have some worries or some fears and you might be having really big feelings or you might be having a hard time with the people who live in your house and you might be having a lot of mad feelings. Sometimes that happens. So we're gonna talk a little bit about big feelings today because I think it might be helpful with all of the stuff that we're going on that's going on in the world friends our first story that we're going to read today is about when you might be feeling a little bit scared but you still want to do something all right this is by Gaia Cornwell and it's called Jabari Jumps I love this book it's a great book if you're feeling a little bit scared about something new it is yeah and this is by Candlewick Press so thank you Candlewick for letting us read your story I think this is a nice one to have in your own home um, because Jabari's dad does a great job of helping him when he feels a little bit scared. And I like that they work through it and find some ways to handle it. Ready? I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and Maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Look at him jumping up and down right there. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge, they spread their arms, and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. Um, you could go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. 
I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Look at that. How many people are in front of him now? Nobody. Yeah, he waited a long time, didn't he? Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. He is pretty far up there, isn't he? When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. Oh, I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and I tell myself, I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up and he began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way out to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Isn't that picture fantastic? Look how tiny all the people look. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went and then back up. You did it, Jabari, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. Oh, wow. He got very brave, didn't he? All right. Well, I just used a word that I think we should talk about. I just used the word brave, didn't I? Now, when we talk about somebody being brave, we have talked about this in story time, and I hope you remember what brave means. Does brave mean that somebody is never, ever scared? No, it doesn't. Brave means that even when you're scared, you do what you need to do. Yeah, because we might think that, oh, brave means you can't ever be scared, but guess what? Everybody gets scared. It's true. Everybody does. So you might be scared of some things that other people aren't scared of, but that doesn't mean anything. Everybody is scared of something, okay? So even if you're feeling a little bit scared, if it's something you need to do and you do it, that's you being brave. All right, now let's see. I would like to sing a quick song and then we're gonna read a book about being brave. Let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It, because that talks about a lot of feelings, doesn't it? Actually, it just talks about happy, but we're going to do a different kind. Ready? We're just going to start with happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. Now this time, what do you think you might do if you're feeling a little sad? Oh, what do you think you might say? You might say boo-boo. Are you ready? If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. 
If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, your face will surely show it. Yeah. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Good job. Now, what might you do if you're feeling a little bit mad? Can you think of a mad song? Oh, what would you do? Sometimes when I'm feeling mad and I don't want to say anything mean, sometimes I'll just growl. I know. Are you ready? If you're mad and you know it, give a growl. Arr! Good job. That was a scary growl. If you're mad and you know it, give a growl. Arr! If you're mad and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, give a growl. Arr! I'm not great at making a mad face for long, am I? It kind of goes back to being silly. All right. You did a really good job with that. Now, there are other feelings that are a little bit harder to show, aren't there? Like when we talked about feeling worried. That's a little bit harder to show. Or nervous. Nervous is kind of similar to worried. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do our next story. We talked about being brave. This one is called Brave Squish Rabbit. Hmm. He might be scared of some things that you're scared of. Let's see. And this is by Katherine Battersby. I just like to say her name really fancy. And it's from Viking Press. Ready? Squish was just a little rabbit. Look at how tiny he is compared to his big old carrot. Oh, but being little led to big fears. Squish was scared of many things like storms. Are you scared of storms? I didn't. I, I was when I was little, when I was a kid, and then I wasn't, and now I am again. Mm -hmm. And chickens. Are you scared of chickens? Yeah, I'm not usually scared of chickens, but I think if I was this size compared to chickens, I might be a little more scared of chickens. Yeah. And especially the dark. The dark was so big, it was everywhere. Squish tried to hide from the dark, but wherever he went, it followed. Playing with his friend Twitch helped Squish forget his fears. Oh, look, now he's feeling a little more brave. One day, Squish went to meet Twitch at their secret treehouse. But when he arrived, oh no! Twitch was gone. Oh dear. She'd left a note, but Squish couldn't read it. Hmm. Outside, it got darker and darker, and inside, Squish got scared and goosebumpy. We should have done if you're scared and you know it. Yeah, we should have. Squish worried Twitch was trapped in the dark, in a storm, with a chicken! There was only one thing to do. Squish prepared for the worst and stepped into the dark. Oh, look at that. So Squish got very ready, didn't he? Let's see, he packed, he packed some stuff. He put some fireflies in a bucket so they could be a light. And he took his wagon so he could bring his, his friend, his little squishy squish. And, oh, he brought a stick. Oh, he made helmets for them. Yeah. And then, oh, oh no. What is that? Is it a chicken leg? No, it's just a tree, isn't it? So he released the light so he could see that it wasn't the chicken. Oh boy. Oh, poor Squish. Look at all of this. Oh, that's a rough day, isn't it? That looks like the weather we had a couple weeks ago. Look at that. I see storms and hail and rain. Oh, and he, he's out of all the stuff he prepped now, isn't he? All of his stuff got broken or ruined. Finally, Squish saw something. It wasn't storms or chickens like he'd feared. It was a bit dark. Can you tell what it is? But not at all scary. Squish was just a little rabbit, but being brave made him feel much bigger. 
Look at that. Now he's with his buddy again. I also love that they hang out on a clothesline. Yeah, you might not know where the clothesline is. That's a way to dry your clothes. All right, you did a fantastic job with that story. Now we've talked a lot about feeling scared today. I hope that you're finding some ways that you can feel a little bit more brave. Um, but when we have other big feelings, sometimes we need a little bit of help. <sighs> Calming down, don't we? Yeah. Now one of my favorite stories to help us calm down is a book that I still read with all of my kids, even though they're a little bit too big for this story. This book is called Little Monkey Calms Down. And it is by Michael Dahl and illustrated by Oriol Vidal. And it is a Hello Genius book from Picture Book Windows. And this whole Hello Genius series is fantastic. I really enjoy them. Little Tiger Picks Up is super cute. Little Lion Shares, I think we might read a little bit later, we'll see. Um, and there's a bunch in the stories, but this one is probably my favorite. You ready? Oh, poor little monkey. What happened to little monkey? Can you tell? Oh, poor little monkey. Oh, I hate when my ice cream falls on the ground. That's so sad. Yeah, should he just eat it off the ground? Is that a good solution? No, don't eat food off the ground. No. Oh, he is having a tough time. He looks like he's having a tough time, doesn't he? Yeah. There's a lot of running around and screaming and wailing and just laying on the floor. Yeah. We have those days, don't we? Do you have days where you have big feelings like that? I do. Yeah. I think everybody has days when they have big feelings like that. I don't usually lay down on the floor and scream, but I do sometimes yell or run around. That happens. Everybody feels big feelings. <gasps> Little monkey feels sad and mad and angry. Calm down, little monkey. It's okay to cry. Oh, sometimes we just need to cry for a few minutes and then we'll feel so much better. Calm down, little monkey. Cuddle with your blankie. Oh, do you have something you like to cuddle with when you're feeling sad or mad? Hmm? Yeah. One of my kids used to love cuddling with an ice pack. That was what made them feel better. All right. Calm down, little monkey. Take a deep breath. Oh, just like in the other one. When Jabari jumps. Ready? Can you take a big breath in with me? Ready? <gasps> Good job. You can take a big breath in with your nose too, ready? <sighs> Wonderful. That helps you feel calm much faster. It does. Sometimes when we're doing big breaths and we need to do a couple of them, I will say, blow out five birthday candles. And my kids will go, <gasps> one, <gasps> two. And then usually by the time we get to five or 10, we start to feel a lot better. Yeah. Calm down, little monkey. Sing a quiet song. Now the song we learned last week May There Always Be sh Sunshine would be a really good one for this because you can also think about things that make you feel happier or calmer. So let's see. Let's see if we can remember it. Are you ready? May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be the world. And you can put in the things that make you feel calm or happy. Let's see. I might try to make one up real fast. May there always be beaches. May there always be kids. May there always be puppies. May there always be books. All right. So you can put some things in that you love. And that's a nice quiet song. Another one my friends like to do a lot of the time when we talk about this book is to sing Twinkle Twinkle. Yeah, it's hard to stay angry and sing Twinkle Twinkle. All right, calm down little monkey. Be still and relax. Hmm. Do you know what he's playing with in that picture? What is that? It's a pinwheel. Yeah, 
A pinwheel is nice to have in a calm down spot because you can blow on it too. So you're getting your big breaths and watching it spin is very relaxing. Feeling better, little monkey? What do you think? Does he look like he's feeling better? He looks so much happier now, doesn't he? So much happier and calmer. Does he magically get a new ice cream cone when he feels calmer? He doesn't. Nope. No. So it's not going to necessarily fix everything, but he's having a better attitude. And now oh, let's go have a great day. Look at that. Now he can go have fun. And his grown-ups look happy too, don't they? All right, you did a wonderful job with our stories today. I hope you really liked them. Um, there's a couple of songs I thought about that you could look up and try to sing along with. Jim Gill has one called, I'm So Mad. And you growl, and then there's a sad cry one. Um, but if you look up, I'm So Mad, I think he has all of his music available for you to listen to right now uh, during the pandemic. All right, let's see what else do we have. Uh, I wanted to show you some ideas that you can do at home. So one of the things I was thinking of is that you could make a paper bag puppet like we talked about a few weeks ago um, so that you can have something to talk to when you're feeling a lot of feelings. Yep, I also thought about plastic egg faces that you can draw the eyes and the mouths on them and you could put them together and make all sorts of silly faces. And then you can see if you can make the face too. Look in a mirror and see. I'm hoping you have some eggs just hanging around. If you don't have any plastic eggs, you could try it with something else too. All right, the other thing I was thinking is that you might want to make a calm down corner at your house. Now, I really like this idea where you might have like a yoga poster that has pictures of different poses you can do. Um, you might have some exercises you can do if you're feeling like you need to get out some feelings. Uh, you can have coloring pages and pinwheels and things that are very soothing to you. Having Play-Doh or something to squish like a sensory balloon. Have you ever seen those where you might put flour inside of a balloon? and tie it and then you could squish it. It's a stress ball that you make at your house. And then one of the other things I was thinking you might wanna make is if you have any bottles laying around your house, I would go for plastic because we'll be using it when we're having a lot of feelings. And you can use this, put in some water with some food coloring and then pour in a little bit of oil. It's hard to see the oil, but hold on a second. Oh, and then grownups, you're gonna to wanna to hot glue the top on. Yeah, I don't have a hot glue on right now and I'm nervous and I'm the only one using it. So when a kid's using it, you really want to have that on. Ready? You don't want to drink this, friends. Let's see what happens. Look at that. What's happening? So the oil and the water will not go together. So when we turn it, the oil is always going to go to the top. So the oil went all the way to the top and it makes these beautiful bubbles that are super calming to watch. Yeah. And no matter how much you shake it, it's still going to separate out. Sometimes it takes a little bit if you shake it really, really well, but I can already see it separating back out. Do you see that? It has lots of little bubbles of oil inside of the water now. Yeah, so you can make one of these at home. It took me about three seconds. It doesn't take very long. Just put food coloring in water and then oil in it. Yeah. If you are feeling adventurous, you could put beads in there. You can put glitter, even though I don't put glitter in anything. No, I don't. I don't like to use glitter because it gets everywhere. But this is an acceptable use for glitter because it would stay inside. Um, and when you turn it, the beads or the glitter would go up and down with the oil, which is pretty fun. All right. So that might be a nice calm down idea for you to have in your calm down corner. Plus they're fun to make. You can make sensory bottles with lots of things. Um, if you just search sensory, so if you search sensory bottles, um, homemade stress balls, you could search for that to make the homemade stress ball idea. Um, you can also look for calm down corners. There's a lot of printables and things like that that are related to the calm down corner idea. I'm just going to do this for the, like, the rest of the day. Yeah. My kids haven't been fantastic listeners, so I might need a little bit of a calm down corner myself. 
Yeah. All right. And then the last thing I was thinking that might help you when you're feeling a lot of feelings or when you're just feeling a little bit scared of things you might be hearing from the news or if you're worried about somebody who might be sick right now, I was thinking that it might be nice if you want to make a list and you can draw pictures or write words depending on what you're working on, but you can make a list of things that make you feel calm like we did with our song um, or things that you're really thankful you have in your life. So I know that this is a little bit of a scary time and sometimes I feel scared, but I am so thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for my kids, my kids here that live with me and all of you because when I get to hear about how much you're enjoying story time or when I get to watch it with my kids and I get to play with my kids, it helps me so much to remember what's really important and it makes me feel so hopeful for what's coming next because you kids are wonderful and so are mine. All right, so that's one of the things I'm really thankful for is that kids always help me to feel a little bit better when I'm feeling scared about the world. Other things that might make your list is my foster puppy helps me feel calm when I'm feeling a little bit stressed out or sad. I like being able to do things to help people. So I've enjoyed making masks to help people stay safe. Um, so you might have things like that. Some things that are big, like your family and things like that, that make you feel so safe and so happy. Um, like all of our healthcare workers and all of our first responders and people who are taking care of us. Those are big things to put on your list, but there's also little things. And if your little thing is that your favorite toy, or we built a fire pit this week and I have loved just sitting and watching the fire and having that calm. So you could put little things on your list too, but I would love to see your list. So if you draw your pictures or sound out your words, I would love to see it in the comments. So check with your grown up and see if they'll do that. But I would love to see what you are feeling thankful for and what helps calm you down when you're feeling a lot of big feelings. All right, friends, I hope that this was a really helpful story time for you. We're gonna kind of bounce back and forth between big ideas and a little fluffier ideas. So last week we did gardening. This week we talked about big feelings, which is a little bit hard. Next week, I think we're gonna talk about spring. All right, I hope you're having a fantastic time with your family. I hope that you're staying safe and I hope you know that I love you and I miss you. And I'll see you as soon as we're safe to have story time again. Bye.